The American Farm Bureau Federation, the nation's largest farm organization, celebrated its 91st year at their recent annual meeting in Seattle. Rick Trepto says the president of the national organization wants to help farmers and ranchers and all of agriculture to remain strong. At the Seattle, Washington meeting, Columbus, Texas, Kettle and Rice farmer Bob Stallman presided over the general sessions. The voting delegates also elected him to his sixth two-year term. In an interview, we talked about key Farm Bureau political issues like climate change. Farmers feel their futures would be capped. The organization, he said, was able to make some changes in the House bill. We're still not sufficient for us to support it, but then we really turned our attention to the Senate and, you know, in essence, turned our states and our grassroots members loose and uh, created the Don't Cap Our Future campaign. And, and I think we uh, bear a large part of the, uh, of the credit for slowing down that process in the Senate and hopefully uh, keeping uh, that kind of Waxman-Markey legislation from passing in the Senate in 2010. Efforts of animal rights activists to shut down livestock production will be fought every step of the way by AFBF during 2010. The American people love their hamburgers, their fried chicken, their steaks, you know, their bacon in the morning. They're not going to quit eating that, but they don't understand what it takes to get it to their plate. And so the animal welfare activists use uh, misinformation and emotionally laced campaigns. Our goal is to try to explain that it takes that whole system to put that meat on the plate. So what about immigration reform for 12 million workers? It has been a key issue for the past eight years by all of agriculture. Uh, we had hoped that the Obama administration would come in. In fact, he talked about it in the campaign and try to resolve those issues. Uh, that's going to be a difficult one to take up in an election year because it's so emotionally charged. We continue to seek some solution, though, because our farmers and ranchers are in tough shape trying to find the labor that they need to produce the food, fiber, and fuel for America. Stallman said farmers, especially pork and dairymen, have been hurt by price volatility. Anxiety, he said, about what all crop and livestock prices will do is not in short supply. Well, you know, what's the future going to be like? Do we have to start managing for all of this volatility continually as opposed to, you know, just every couple of decades? That's an issue. Uh, you know, and how do we uh, adjust to the technologies that are being put in place? How do we remain competitive, uh, particularly uh, for producing here and selling our goods into, far, into foreign markets? As Stallman looks ahead, though, he is optimistic about all of farming. American Farm Bureau is still in good shape. Uh, we have had a membership gain. Uh, we still have adequate resources uh, to use uh, to further our uh, policy agenda. That, the same cannot be said for a lot of nonprofit associations that have su suffered a, a decline in this economic downturn. We're strong, we're well prepared to be able to take up the challenges of 2010. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.